Hi all. Today we are going to discuss about the transformers that is in module 2 of electrical machine design. So here we are going to uh, derive the output equation of a single phase transformer. That's for designing uh, the various parts of the transformer we must know what is the output equation of a single phase transformer. So uh, the equation which relates the rated KV output of a transformer to the area of core and window is called the output equation. Okay, normally the output is expressed uh, as in KVA. Okay, in KVA and uh, the equation relates the area of core and area of window with that KVA. Okay, and for relating that uh, normally we are expressing the kv output in terms of the flux density and ampere tens okay flux density and ampere tens kv mainly depending upon the flux density b and ampere tens at okay so uh, this flux density in turn depends upon the core area and uh, ampere tens uh, which is related to the uh, window area and uh, uh, normally uh, the window okay the window of a, a transformer mainly consisting of the winding and it is a, actually it is the space for winding accommodating the space for winding and insulations okay that the space is called the window okay and in the window uh, we are placing our primary and secondary winding okay here you can see this is a core of a transformer that is core type transformer and this is a, a shell type transformer and uh, uh, we are placing the windings here the primary and secondary windings here okay in these places we are placing the windings and actually this is the window okay this is the window of a transformer this is the width of the window and this is the height of the window okay and so uh, in this window, uh, it is a space for uh, providing the, the placing the primary winding and secondary winding and uh, insulations. And uh, we are starting with the EMF induced in transformers that we have already learned. That is, EMF induced in a transformer is equal to 4.44 FIM T volts, where F is the frequency, FIM is the flux, and T is the uh, number of tens. And uh, from this equation, uh, we can find the EM of per ten, that is E suffix small t, that is uh, E by t is equal to 4.44 FIM volts. From that, this t is cancelled, so that we are we are getting it as 4.44 uh, FIM. It is 4.44. Okay. And uh, uh, the window in a single phase transformer contains uh, one primary and one secondary winding. Uh, so uh, the window space factor Kw. Okay, can be found uh, by using the ratio of conductor area in window by total area of window. Okay, that is window space factor Kw is equal to conductor area in window. Okay, conductor. What is the area accumulated by the conductor? Okay, that is A suffix C. And this is the total area, Aw. Okay, total area of window, it is A into W. So from that, uh, we will obtain the conductor area in window AC is equal to KW into AW. Okay, KW into AW. Okay, so this is denoted as equation 4.4. We have to use this equation further. And then the current density delta. Okay, we know that the current density delta is same uh, for primary and secondary winding. Okay, that is uh, delta is equal to IP by AP. Uh, in primary side and delta is equal to is by as in the secondary side where ip is the primary current is is the secondary current and ap is the area of the primary uh, that is area of cross section of the primary conductor and as is the area of cross section of secondary conductor so from these uh, equations uh, we are obtaining an equation for ap and as so ap will be equal to ip by delta ap will be equal to ip by delta and uh, as will be equal to is by delta okay and uh, if we neglect the magnetizing amount of then uh, the we know that the primary and secondary amount of are same okay that is ambient tens are same so the ambient tens a t okay a t is equal to ip into tp is equal to is into ts okay that is ambient tens ambient tens in primary and secondary side are same okay and uh, we are going to find the total copper area in window that is ac 
total copper area in window AC. So it can be found using the equation that is copper area of primary winding plus copper area of secondary winding. Okay. Uh, so the copper area of primary winding can be found uh, by using the equation that is the number of primary turns if you know the number of primary turns and uh, if you know the area of cross section of each conductor okay that is area of cross section of the primary conductor by multiplying that two we get the total copper area of primary winding okay so same as we will get the uh, total uh, copper area of secondary winding that is number of secondary turns into area of cross section of secondary conductor uh, so number of primary turns is equal to TP and area of cross section of primary conductor is equal to AP and number of secondary turns equal to TS and uh, area of cross section of secondary conductor is equal to AS. So TP AP plus TS AS. So AP is uh, TP into we know that uh, from the previous equation AP is equal to IP by delta. So uh, we are substituting that uh, equation here instead of AP. So TP into IP by delta and AS we can also substitute it as IS by delta that is TS into IS by delta. Okay. and we are taking uh, that uh, delta outside that is 1 by delta is equal to into 1 by delta into TPIP plus TSIS and we know that uh, for the primary and secondary uh, side the M of are same that is AT we are denoting it as AT that is TPIP TSIS we, we are denoting it as a a -T, capital AT so 1 by delta into AT plus AT okay so we are uh, getting it as 280 by delta so the copper area in window ac is equal to 280 by delta so uh, this equation can be compared uh, with the previous equation of the uh, ac that is here actually uh, our aim is to compare this equation with the derived equation ac so uh, by comparing that that is comparing the equation 4.44 and 4.9 we are getting it as uh, kw rw is equal to 280 by delta that is KWRW from here and 280 by delta from here. So KWRW is equal to 280 by delta and uh, therefore the ampere tends AT is equal to 1 by 2 KWRW into delta. Okay. And now we are going to uh, find the KV rating of the single phase transform. Okay. We are just applying the uh, already find equations here. So KV rating Q is equal to we know VP into IP into 10 ratio minus 3 okay that is primary voltage into primary current into 10 raised to minus 3 so this vp is approximately equal to ep that is induced uh, mf in primary so ep into ip into 10 raised to minus 3 and uh, we are just multiplying the term tp and dividing the term tp here okay we are multiplying and dividing by tp in this equation we are getting it as ep by tp into tp into ip into 10 raised to minus 3 so here ep by tp we know that it is the emf per term that is EP is the uh, total EMF induced in the primary and the TP is the uh, number of uh, turns in the primary. So the EMF per turn in the primary is equal to ET is equal to EP by TP. Okay. So we are substituting this term with the ET and uh, we know TP into IP is equal to AT that is ampere turns AT. Okay. And uh, we have to substitute for ET and AT. ET we have already uh, sorry find from here it is ET is equal to 4.44 FIM and uh, AT we know that uh, here 1 by 2 KWRW into delta okay we have to substitute that value here ET and AT by substituting that value uh, Q is equal to 4.44 FIM then KWRW delta by 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 just uh, cancelling the some terms we are getting it as 2.22 FIM KWRW KWRW delta into 10 raised to minus 3 and we know that uh, we can replace this FIM that is uh, phi m uh, with the equation that is uh, we know that BM is equal to phi m by A okay so instead of this phi m we can write BM into A BM into A so 2.22 F BM into A into KW into AW into delta into 10 raised to minus 3 so this is the uh, output equation of a, a single phase transformer okay uh, so the output equation of a three phase transformer is also same as like this um, so q is equal to 2.2 fim a kw w delta into 10 ratio minus 3 so here uh, bm is the maximum flux density and ai is the net core area okay net core area sometimes it will be given in the question itself so I hope all of you understand the derivation well. Thank you.